Hello, good morning, and welcome to this video tutorial that's going to address how you can get around the current Binance suspension of the withdrawal of Phantom FTM tokens out of your Binance account and into your MetaMask wallet. Now, if you're like me yesterday afternoon, you might have gone to transfer some FTM and received the following message here from Binance, that FTM network withdrawals are suspended. So what am I gonna be covering in this video? Well, it's very, very simple. I'm gonna show you a very cost-effective way with a few minor transaction fees to take your FTM tokens, you're going to convert those on Binance to BNB tokens. And keep in mind, there's a minimum of 20 phantom tokens that need to be used when you're doing the conversion to BNB. We're gonna set the BSC or the Binance Smart Chain Network up, the main net, in your MetaMask wallet. And then you're simply gonna transfer the converted phantom that is now BNB into your MetaMask wallet. You're gonna bridge those tokens using Spirit Swap. And then you can simply swap those tokens back to FTM. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at what's going to be required. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add the BSC mainnet to our MetaMask wallet. And you can see I've already done this. I've ran a couple of test transactions through here and everything works like a champ. Now, before we dive into making any modifications or, or moving any assets around, I wanna make sure that I point out that all information provided in this video tutorial is provided on an as is and as available basis and you agree that your use of such information is entirely at your own risk. You should not construe any such information or other material in my video as legal, tax, investment, financial, or other, device, uh, other advice. Nothing in this video or on my YouTube channel constitutes a solicitation, recommendation, endorsement, or offer by myself or any other third party. I'm not liable for the loss of any fiat assets, tokens, or fees incurred as a result of you following the steps presented here. And this is not investment advice, and I am not an investment advisor. The opinions expressed in this video tutorial are for general information and entertainment purposes only, and are not intended to provide specific financial and or tax advice or recommendations for any individual or any specific cryptocurrency, token, or investment product. All right, whew. Now that we've got that out of the way, let me show you how you can get those FTM that are currently sort of held hostage on Binance, off of Binance, and back into the Phantom ecosystem. Now, if you're okay with letting your FTM sit on Binance, then this is not the video for you. This is for somebody that's got FTM, it's stuck, you want to get it into play because you notice that things are going crazy in the pools and you want to increase your position. Uh, maybe you want to increase your um, LQDR and flip it to XLQDR, or you just want to increase your position in a pool. Here's how you would do that. So we're going to add the BSC mainnet uh, to the MetaMask wallet. And here's how you would do that. I'm actually going to go ahead and click there, and we're going to back up here. And I want to make sure that uh, I show you the screen that's going to pop up. This is going to be the screen that you see. I want to give full credit to this crypto-explain.com, how to add Binance Smart Chain to MetaMask. This saved me a lot of time last night. The link to this is down below. Chances are you're not going to need it, but I wanted to put the link in there to give, you, to give this uh, individual full credit. So here are the settings that you're going to add in. How do you do it? Well, you click on your MetaMask wallet up here. I already have BSC mainnet. I'm assuming you don't. And again, I'm also assuming that you have the MetaMask wallet. So if you don't have the BSC mainnet, you just come down here to click Add Network. Again, it, in my browser, it's going to open this tab up. The network name, RPC URL, chain ID, currency symbol, and block explorer URL. Well, what are those values? Those are the values right there. So the network name, you can put whatever you want. You see that I put BSC mainnet, you could put Binance Smart Chain, whatever the case may be. Here is the RPC URL. Now, a quick note, I simply used dataseed.binance.org forward slash, right? So I didn't use dataseed2, mine was just bsc-dataseed. So again, you could use this if you would like, I just use data seed. The chain ID is 56, the currency symbol is BNB, and there is the Block Explorer URL. That's it. That's all that's required to add the Binance Smart Chain mainnet to your MetaMask wallet. And as soon as you do that, and on, I'm sorry, on this screen right here, you click Save, 
you'll notice that in the MetaMask wallet, you now have BSC Mainnet or whatever it was that you named it when you created it. And that's it. I mean, it's really that simple. So here's the next piece of the equation. So we want to copy our address, right? And it's the same MetaMask wallet address that you've had since you created your MetaMask wallet. So we're going to copy that address. And here's where we go to Binance. Now, remember, you would go to convert and you're going to convert your FTM to BNB. Remember, there's a minimum of 20 FTM uh, that need to be converted to BNB. And you also want to make sure that you convert enough FTM because there's going to be minimums on Spirit Swap, although they are extremely low. And you'll see those uh, here in a second. Um, I would do at a minimum, well, we're going to do $198 or we'll do $190 you know, and change. So we'll see what happens there. All right. So we've got uh, a minimum withdrawal amount of 0.01 BNB. So let's go ahead and make this happen right now. So you're going to put that MetaMask wallet address in here. You can see that I love how it does this. Auto magically match to the corresponding network. So Binance Smart Chain. So you can see my 24 hour limit right now is, oh, actually it's $298. So we'll go ahead and um, we'll do as much as we can here. So the minimum, minimum amount of BNB is 0.01. Uh, and BNB right now is trading at, I think it's like 450 something. So let's see what happens here if I do the max. Now, here's the first fee after the conversion fee. Here's the first fee that you're going to incur to move this into the MetaMask wallet. And take a look, it's 0. 0.0005 BNB, right? So it's not sort of overwhelming like an Ethereum network fee. And again, you could do the math on what this would be and make sure that you do that. Uh, and the fee is included. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, 0.4 should be less than 298, I believe. We'll find out here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and click withdraw. I'm going to click confirm uh, and we'll click continue. And here's where we're going to see uh, the get code. Now, I always recommend to get the email code first, right? I can't harp on this enough uh, because if you put in the authenticator code first and maybe the email takes a minute or two, that authenticator code could expire and then you get to do what I like to call the bonus lab and that is redo the authenticator code. So the email code is here. We grab our, our, our authenticator code 098930 and we click Submit. All right, so withdraw successful. Now, what you might see here is sometimes you this window will pop up, and there it is right there, saying it'll say awaiting approval, the withdrawal request is being reviewed, and will take approximately 12 hours. That is extremely misleading. So I click Complete, and you'll see we're going to see the recent withdrawals listed down here. And so here you can see we've got, we're waiting for zero out of 15 confirmations. Now, again, we sent that to the MetaMask wallet. So if I click on my wallet, you can see that we still have the original 0 0.0006 BNB sitting in the wallet. Now, I've seen this happen as quickly as like 30 seconds where we will get an updated uh, balance here and the transfer is gonna be complete. Now, while we're waiting for it to transfer, here are the next swaps. So here's what we've done so far. We had FTM on Binance. We used the convert feature here under the trade tab and converted that FTM into BNB. So now we had these BNB tokens on Binance. So then what did we do? We went ahead, we added, and take a look at that. I mean, less than 60 seconds, the BNB is in my MetaMask wallet on the BSC mainnet, right? And we did this for a fraction of what you would be looking at doing if you were trying to work with USDC on the Ethereum blockchain, right? For the fees so far. Uh, so we took that BNB from Binance using the BSC mainnet and transferred it into our MetaMask wallet. Okay, so now that it's here in the MetaMask wallet, what do I need to do? Well, we have to get it off of that BSC mainnet into the Phantom ecosystem on the Phantom Opera mainnet. Well, to do that, we're simply going to bridge. So how do we do it? Well, you go to Spirit Swap. How did I get to Spirit Swap? Well, it's pretty simple. You could, if you don't have it bookmarked, if you were at the liquiddriver.finance main page, you would simply click on bridge. And in fact, let me just do it from right here. 
So you would click on bridge. Now, it's asking me to connect uh, to the Phantom Opera mainnet. And I, because I just came to the site here, it's gonna, it wants to connect my wallet. So I'll say switch, although we are going to have to do switch, it'll switch for you sort of auto magically. And we're gonna do that right now. Watch what happens. So I want to bridge. Well, what is it I want to bridge? Well, I want to bridge things from the BSC mainnet. And as indicated, it wants us to switch to the wallet so that it can see, well, what are these assets that you say you want to bridge over? It wants to look at my BSC mainnet to see what um, assets I have here. So what do I want to bridge it to? I certainly don't want to do it to Ethereum. We want to go to the Phantom Opera mainnet. What currency is it that I want to use? Well, it's going to see my BNB tokens. There they are. It's that simple. So I click on that. We're going to do 100%. We're going to bring it all over. Now, notice down here, take note, the minimum bridge amount is 0.044 BNB. And this is what I was alluding to earlier, it is make sure you're aware of what these minimums and maximums are. And you can see 7,500 BNB. I, that is way outside of my scope. So you don't, I'm, not, I'm never going to have to worry about the maximum. So we've got the minimum bridge amount. And then we've got this minimum fee. Now you're going to see the fee is going to show up uh, in MetaMask over here. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this back because I believe I'm going to have to have a little bit of BS, uh, BNB for my fee. Uh, and then we've got our balance on Phantom here. So that, that's it, right? You select BSC, the MetaMask wallet. If it was on the Phantom mainnet, is going to switch you back to the BSC mainnet. And then you say Phantom, because we want to get these tokens off the BSC mainnet into the Phantom ecosystem. I'm going to click Bridge Token. The window is going to pop up. Now, if I didn't have enough gas, and take a look at that fee. Again, 0.000157 BNB. Again, it's not that bad. So if I don't have enough, this is what you see, insufficient funds, right? So you click Reject. And now I'm going to have to come back here. And I'm just going to say uh, 0.48. So you need to make an adjustment so that you have enough BNB to cover the fee. So I'm going to say bridge token. It's going to pop up. We're going to scroll down. OK, no insufficient funds. I click Confirm. Transaction submitted. Now, I've noticed that on average, this is going to take about 15 to 30 seconds before it goes from transaction submitted to successful. So let's give it a second here. Now, what are we going to do after this? So. We submitted the transaction. Once we've bridged the tokens over, you're not going to see those BSC tokens uh, in your MetaMask wallet under Phantom Opera mainnet. All right, so it looked like everything worked. And where do we see them? Well, we come up here to Portfolio. Let me click on Portfolio. And it's going to want me to switch because we were using the BSC mainnet. I'm switching my network now over to the Phantom mainnet. And we need to give it a second or two. You'll notice it's not here yet, but it will be here shortly. And this is where the BNB tokens are going to show up because we've bridged those tokens from the BSC mainnet into the Phantom ecosystem. So we'll give it a second. And this is, again, it'll take, you know, 30, 45 seconds. Don't panic here. They're going to show up shortly. In fact, if I was to click on the MetaMask wallet here and look at the assets uh, on the Phantom Opera mainnet, you're not going to see BNB here in the wallet, right? It does not show up, or at least it didn't show up for me earlier. Let's come all the way down here. Oh, so it shows zero BNB, right? Uh, so again, we're going to wait about 30 seconds here or maybe a minute or so before, aha, so there it is, right? So take a look, there's our BNB. Again, don't panic, it's gonna show. There's our BNB, that's the price of BNB, and this is how much BNB we bridged from the BSC mainnet into the Phantom Opera, or I'm sorry, into the uh, uh, Phantom Opera mainnet, the Phantom ecosystem, so $233, all right. So now you've got the BNB here, what do we wanna do? Well, we're gonna go to exchange, because now that it's in the Phantom Opera mainnet eco or the phantom ecosystem, I can now swap it. So let's take a look. How am I going to do that? I'm going to click here. What are the assets I want to swap? Well, I want to swap my BNB. I'm going to do all 100% because now the fees are paid in FTM. The fees are no longer BNB here. Now it's FTM. So I'm going to click 100% and let's take a look at the options we have. 
I mean, look at this. I could do fan. I could do FTM, USDC, F, USD. I mean, I, it's all of these different assets that I could swap my BNB to. But I want Phantom because I want to get this Phantom working, maybe in a pool, uh, one of the farms on Liquid Driver. And there we go. I'm going to click swap. And let's click confirm swap. And what is my fee going to be? Take a look at that 0.06 FTM. I'm going to click confirm. Transaction submitted. Again, it's going to take about 30 seconds. And when this is complete, you are going to see these tokens in your MetaMask wallet. So I'm going to click on the MetaMask wallet. We're going to come over here to assets. You can see it's in the queue. Uh, but what's going to happen is my balance of 4.6618 phantom tokens is going to increase here. And you got to love it when a plan comes together. There it is, 81.22 phantom tokens. So that is going to do it for this video. So what have we done? Let's do a quick recap, right? We had FTM on Binance. We converted it through the trade menu option. We click convert, took that FTM, converted it to BNB. We then added the BSC mainnet to our MetaMask wallet. That took all of 30 seconds. We then transferred via the BSC mainnet all of the BNB tokens from Binance into the MetaMask wallet. We then came to Spirit Swap. We simply bridged from the BSC mainnet into the Phantom ecosystem or the Phantom Opera mainnet, those BNB tokens. And then once they're here, super simple, exchange, swap, take the BNB, make it Phantom, and now you can increase your position somewhere here in the Phantom ecosystem. All right, well, that is gonna do it for this video. I hope I've saved you a few dollars uh, and helped you out. And again, if you wanted to get that Phantom off Binance and get it working for you, this is a very affordable and straightforward, easy way to do it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.